Okay. Complete. Did I sleep here? Can I stay for free? Oh. Is a man here for free? I would like to bring some. Uh, do I need five? No, I don't have five. Can I get a food for free now? Welcome to Rosa's Bay, the village premier and only restaurant. Hey, it's you. I was wondering when our village savior would drop by. When we met in Skyward Tower, we knew we were different from other travelers. Lurling owns you and Boso a love for fixing our ho houses, rebuilding your shops, and restoring your community. <laughs> anyway, the feast we had was a delight. Seeing Boso and my boys dance together really tickled me. <laughs> Even remembering now, I can't help but chuckle. Say, are you hungry by chance? Or maybe you like meal for the road? Ah. Here at Desert Bay, I tried to surprise my customers with meals they've never had before. I learned a lot of new recipes during my travels, and I want to share them with adventurous eaters in Lurling. And for you, the village savior, it's on the house. I'll take it. Seafood paella. No fisherman's birthday bash would be complete without this top shelf seafood dish. I, I, I don't remember if the icon was like that. The previous game. <laughs> okay, enjoy. I'm always putting unique new dishes on my menu, so do come back. Come again. Aww. Sorry, I sort out for the day. Uh, I need to sort out a new menu, so please give me some time. I, mean, I hope it will always be something new. Some recipe I haven't figured out yet. My brochure, what should I do? Try to serve myself. Uh, the latest article is Research, Restored, and Ready for You. Learning Village has turned to its former beauty with locals crediting one man as a savior behind its comeback story. How about that? In the news again. I met the guy while I was leaving a tent, and now the newspapers call him a savior. Hey, server guy. Good morning. I'm learning how to walk on the ocean. It's hard. But but my big brother and I are trying to find sunken treasure. It's a blue treasure chest with an iron shirt in it. Hey, it's a guy who fixed our house. Being in a tent was kind of fun, like having a secret base. But I'm way happier now we're back home. You know, mister... Everyone's calling you the savior of our village. Thanks for putting everything back how it used to be. Aww. Sorry, mister, but I can't play right now. I gotta find my dad's blue shirt. Blue shirt? Aww. His dad is favorite, favorite thing. He loves it so much, he put it in an iron chest so nobody would take it. But I checked everywhere and couldn't find the chest. I think those parts sank it. So it's probably in the bay since it's too heavy to float away. That's pretending like he doesn't mind, but I bet he's really sad it's gone. I gotta, I gotta get it back. Mm. Oh. Rhodes. Ah, you're uh, Rosa's family. You're the one who saved the village. I thought it looked tougher. It must be pretty strong beneath the surface. I'm from Hateno, but my wife is from here originally. She's been feeling awful ever since those parts attacked, oh. but after you sent them packing, we decided it was fine. It was time to move. Yes, I should start learning the ins and outs of the Lurian dialect. Uh huh. It's pretty normal. Uh, but I don't know. I'll check with them afterwards. Oh, yeah, there was that as well. Hey now, what's on your mind? You're thinking about teaming up with Paul Bolson again, aren't you? I'm not surprised, our chemistry is out of this world, yeah? Funny thing is, I was just talking to the mayor about creating some kind of new attraction in learning. Yes, I like it to be some kind of entertainment. Er something everyone could really get behind and enjoy. You've traveled all over the place, haven't you? Any marvelous ideas you care to share? Open a floating hotel. Oh my, how romantic. 
but we already have an inn. We need to offer some kind of entertainment that doesn't already exist here in the village. Offer underwater tours. Mm. I like it. Sounds dreamy. Oh. Sounds nice, yes, but breathing would be a problem. Still, some kind of water-related entertainment would be nice. Host a water rally. Uh -huh. uh, host a rally race on water. Clever, very clever, don't you think? Oh. Hmm. Well, it would not be a brand new form of water-related amusement. It would be. <laughs> uh, that could do the trick. In yes, in fact, I think that's it. Oh. I seem to recall Hudson saying something about inviting some hotshot professional racer to help develop some new vehicle. If we could work with them... Hudson, do you mean the fellow from that Terry Town place in northeastern Akala? I'd love to invite the racers here once they finish their work there. Though I do wonder if real professional racers will be willing to come to a place like this. Race with us. Just wish the pro racers working in Terry Town up in northeastern Akala would lend us a hand here. It's been a while since Hudson invited the pro racers to help build a new vehicle. Maybe they're done by now, and who knows, maybe they come give us a hand here if we invited them. I think this will do already. Yeah. Island Lobster Shirt. A soft, comfortable shirt traditional to a southern island. Uh, it may, it's made of breathable fabric, so it's well suited to warm regions. Talk to the guy first. Oh. I'm for sure we should do. Let's see here. Ah, oh, he's just reading. Oh, hang on. There's something. Wait. Oh. Let's see. Have village makes his next move. Uh, Mr. Rosel, the head of a recovering town called Learning Village, will stop at nothing to attract visitors with new attractions. Huh, I don't doubt it. He and Moses spend hours a day talking over by Corn Beach. Who knows what they're planning? I'm excited to see what they do. Where is our chest with that blue shirt? It's heavy, so if it sank the ocean, it should still be in the base somewhere. Oh. Let's pretend like he doesn't mind, but I bet he's really sad it's gone. Gotta get it back. Wait a minute. Oh. The blue shirt smells like my dad. That's my dad's shirt. Try to find it, mister. Oh. And can you take it off, please? My dad's dad needs it back. Oh. Yeah, you took off my dad's blue shirt. Dad loved the shirt, he'll be so glad to have it back. 
Bye bye. Oh, really? Here you go. Thank you, mister. I'm gonna go tell my dad. Dad? This guy found your shirt, Dad. It smells like you. So that's what you two are doing on the beach all day. Looking for this? I thought you were out playing. Gosh, thanks for finding these guys. And you, saving villages, finding lost items. What can't you do? My trusted blue shirt. When I was a young man, I used to wear it all the time. But I haven't put it on since the boy's mom started picking out my clothes. Seems a shame to keep the beauty in a moldy old chest, so say, would you want it? What? what? But Dad, weren't you sad about your shirt? Mm. Well, yeah, the one I'm wearing. I was eating soup and I got a big stain on it. I thought it was ruined. But then mommy got rid of the stain, so it's good as new. <laughs> oh, so all this time we were worried about the wrong shirt. What? Wrong shirt, wrong shirt. <laughs> Afraid so, kiddo. But I'm grateful you did all that for your old man. Honestly, I can't believe how fast you two are growing up. <laughs> you make your dad proud, you know that? Very, very proud. That really makes a big deal out of things, doesn't he? But it's okay, thanks for helping me find the sh his shirt. <laughs> Someday, I'll grow up to be a guy like you who helps people in trouble. Oh. That said that the parts camp is on even tight islands to the east. If they even think about coming here again, I'll make them regret it. Leave it to me, alright? Just relax and eat my mom's cooking. Oh. Hi, server guy. <laughs> hey, hey, play with me. Let's play, uh... I know, let's play quiz. I ask questions and you answer them. Sure. <laughs> Yay, my mom's really good at cooking, so I know lots about ingredients and stuff. What? Quiz time. High tail lizard and half footed frog can both go in elixirs to make you run faster. But which one has bigger effect? High tail lizard or half footed frog? I think it was a frog. <laughs> right answer. Here's a reward for playing with me. There are lots of froggies near ponds and waterfall basins and stuff. Near water, basically. But tireless froggies won't come out anymore, even when it rains. They probably got scared of the pirates and are hiding in caves, even though the pirates are gone now. That was fun, let's play again soon, okay? Does this are bright today? Wanna do a sunny quiz? Sure. Ray and no last but ingredients, so I'll quiz you about those. Quiz time. Both fruit, trout, and electric dragon can both go in elixirs to stop electric, electric key getting zapped from hurting as much. Uh, but which one uh, can you only see when it's raining? Both fruit, trout, or electric dragon? The darner. <laughs> ding ding ding. Here's your prize. I caught an electric dragon the other day when it was raining and lighting me. I left all my metal stuff at home so I wouldn't have to worry about getting zapped. That was fun, let's play again soon. Sure. Cooked mighty carp and cooked mighty pork are two kinds of fish that make you stronger. But well, only one of them lives in the oceans near Green Village. Which one is it? Mighty carp or mighty pork? Pork is. Sure, here you go. Ah. A lot of the time th where there are birdies, you can also find lots of fishes. I'm pretty smart, huh? Oh. Oh. Sure. <laughs> this time, when you eat uh, cooked ice fruit, what does it give you? Skin solids as ice, resistance to cold, I think it was ice attack. <laughs> you got it right. Here's your prize, my mom made it, so I'll, I bet you really like it. Biting creamy seafood soup. Greens low level attack enhancement in cold places. Thick cut chunks of seafood in stock provide a satisfying savoriness. Ah. 
So we add a dish with ice fruit, you'll be able to do a nice attack in cold weather. It's super cool. But it won't protect you from freezing. You still gotta wear warm clothes. That was fun. Let's play again soon, okay? Sure. Uh, how many kinds of crab are there in the world? Three, right? The razor, the razor claw, iron shell, and bright eyed. That's right. The three bright eyed, razor claw, and iron shell. You can catch razor claw crabs and iron shell crabs near here. The surprise, my mom made it, so it's really tasty. Tough crab omelette with rice. Uh, Grand's low level defense boost. The fluffy crab legs pair perfectly with the rice for a fluffy, scrumptious dish. That's fun. Sure. It's fine. We cook it first. Uh, again. A nice tag. Got it right. Same thing. Okay, I think we got the ball. Uh, now. Oh, let's dress that again. And now, how do I get to inventory? That would seem odd. I'm not in Gerudo town after all. Have you ever heard the Lover's Pond? It's a lake on the summit of the mountain west of here. Dust Mountain it's called. Ah, so now it's common knowledge where it is. Lover's Pond was a fable place when I was young. It was said you could find your true love there. Mm. I searched and searched and searched, but I couldn't find it. Finally, I gave up. Who would have thought I ended up so close to it all these years later? I never did get to fulfill my dream of seeing Lover's Spawn in person, but Aww. it's enough that I got to see the image of it that's hanging on the chief's house. Oh. And every time I look at that image, I'm reminded of my travels, leaving through the town, seeing the beautiful blue ocean. It was all worth it in the end. Uh, I'll check it later. Ah, uh, the guys here, the guy here didn't return. Let's call that guy so he returns here and I can start his quest. Oh, seriously, I didn't even start their quest. Wow, I forgot about that. I didn't even start their quest in this save. Someone sort of just telling me, the burning. Oh. It's a cool service, proper resort. Ah. Then got to take my parents, I was living there, or in the shops, listening to blooming, turning upside, the parts. Um. Mm. Okay, but won't you. Won't you go up there? I need to start the quest. Uh, I guess he only came up here after I passed one of the... Oh, damage. No, I... Yeah, I'm gonna be missing their dialogue. I think he only comes up here and starts talking to her about how worried they are about Lurley after I passed the first temple. He has to come up, they have to talk about it. Then they'll give me the quest to clear Luralin. Then after I clear the town, fix it up. Then he'll show up at the pier, talking about how their boat was probably dragged away by the the currents. Oh, you're still here. Mm -hmm. Oh, they removed the barriers. That's actually what I wanted. Drop them. <laughs> hmm. Maybe the wind will take me there. Ah, here. Don't work. 
Oh, I can tilt it still, even without. Huh. Yeah, but I expect this should be a bit easier than those parts were. Okay, let's start this this guy's quest again. Oh, Mr. Amazon, that wish. No, no, I had this quest started. Let's just talk to him after I. Hmm. I deal with them. This can be helpful. through here oh yeah I did Doesn't matter. Oh, come on. Let me out. Oh. Hmm. Oh, actually, this can be. I can use that. Oh, there is two one there. I'll jump there afterwards. Hmm. Yeah, I'll jump there afterwards. From there. Uh. Let's do here first. Okay. <laughs> 
Tens. Other guy there. something here. How do I get up there with the ring? Alphos. Ah, the Lizalfos didn't die. Yeah. Good. That was it. Isn't there still one guy there? Electric Lizal Spear. I'm pretty sure there's a guy here. Yeah. That's good as well. Oh, that didn't kill you. That was my best bow. Nice breath, little reaper. Okay. Very clear. Mm -hmm. The island seems so much more tranquil. Could it be? You cleared out the monster's strongholds. All three of them. Oh. Huh, you're amazing. Oh, you don't even know how big a help that is. Perfect timing, too. Since I just saw part ship coming in. Oh yeah, I'll have to go all the mm. way around there. But it's strange. As soon as it went around the rear side of the island, the ship disappeared. So where did it go? Maybe the parts really do have a hideout on this island. And that's where the ship disappeared too. 
but that will make it the most circle crew crew's duty to find and eradicate them, not just scout things out. I can handle one or two enemies, but that sounds like more. Uh, I'm so nervous, I froze in on to the spot. Do I retreat or do I locate the hideout and try to fight the pirates myself? Uh, what should I do? Uh, I just had an idea, mostly for, so I don't have to climb that. I remember we could come. I was going to come here afterwards anyway. So. Uh, steps to the south. There. This may be a bit hard as well, but at least this won't be so long. Yeah, maybe I should have come closer to the center.
Yeah, I didn't really know that worked with all damage. Uh, with ice, I thought it was only with water. <laughs> what do I do? There's a bunch of them. Oh. No. No. That was the last one. Okay, when the last ones come, I have to to deal with the archer first. Oh. Oh. Pretty good. Okay, one on one now. Can you just please drop that? Mina's helmet. A helmet much like the one Mina wear when she fought alongside a hero of Twilight. It's a rather rare find. Still a bunch of things to do. It took way too long to clear Luralin being such low level. Be a bit more centered. Huh? Now I can't. 
can find the angels more easily. Okay, you're weaker than the previous ones I fought. Damn it. that was bad. Come here. Okay. So, oh yeah, that was. Let hmm. leave it here. Uh, there, that here. Last time I noticed it. Now it just passed by. Mm. I hate it now. Yes. 
treasure okay I can tell just by looking at you that something happened. What's up? A cave hidden around the back of the island and there was a part ship. You beat every single part on the ship too. Holy cow, you're like a one-man monster control crew. I mean, I'm part of the monster control crew and I'm still lost my nerve. Uh, thanks to you, I can finally breathe easy. Whoa. Oh, I should probably give you some token of gratitude for risking your life. Here, accept this as my thanks. Blue main line of saber horror. <laughs> yeah, I weren't expect something that rare, were you? I picked it up on our previous monster control cruise expedition. I've been holding on to it as a lucky charm all this time, but you'll probably get more use out of it than I would. <laughs> now then, time to put together a report on what happened here and finally leave this island. Once I'm back, I'm turning over new leaf. No more scarcity sesame. I'm going to be capable and courageous like you. So thanks for the help and the inspiration, mister. I hope I'll see you around. Yeah, I like to see them fighting a lino. Hmm. Once the report is written, I'll leave the island. Yeah. It's a big island, so it'll take me a while to get my info together. That's all. It's not at all related to how scenic and relaxing this place is. No, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sky Speckle. Uh, whoa, a visitor. That's new. What are you doing here? Exploring. Uh, exploring a remote island like this very well. I'm a scholar, presently engaged in research on the mechanics of flight. Mimo and I ran into each other when I was searching for a test site where I could perform my experiments. It was he who suggested this island. <laughs> Mr. Brunley told me he dreamed of flying without wings. It was also intriguing. I had to get involved. Oh. You know, I could use a test subject, a research assistant. I need more details. Mm. Mm, you could just sit back and let the science happen, but no. You want all the ins and outs pick it apart. Fine. Ah. Mimo, fill the young man in. Ah. Alright, see the objects over there that look like a set of wings? I it fell from the sky recently. Mr. Brindley thinks it may be a nation flying device that could be used to soar freely through the air. But at present, it, that's only an untested hypothesis. Ah. We need you to prove or disprove it by getting on the wings and flying to the objective. Ah. How about it? We're ready to cast off gravity squirrel bones and soar? I'll do it. <laughs> Marvelous. You won't regret it. Now, to be totally candid, We've run into an unexpected funny shortage. So I hate to ask, but would you mind kicking in on, uh, let's say, 20 rupees? Fine. Ah. Excellent. Thank you for your generous contribution. Mimo, ready the wings? Ah. Yes, Mr. Brandley. One moment. Let's see how well I can go now. Ah. Already, sir? Oh. Hmm. Seeing as you are new to this experiment, we have best lay out the parameters. Mimo, tell the man what he will be doing. Ah. Now that you are on the wings, it's nearly time to take flight. Well, it's not good to see in this lightning. 
uh, we are asking you to aim for the center of the circles over there, land as close to the target as you can. Maneuvering with the wings may be difficult, but we believe you can steer by maintaining good balance. Hmm. Note that you may not get off the wings until the experiment is complete, as that will render the data useless. The closer you get to the goal, the better data we'll be able to yield, and the more we'll compensate you for your help. Ah. Ready? Then fly, Birdman, fly! I don't know, but it feels like it would be a bit offensive for you to be calling me Birdman so close to Rito. Oh, that was pretty close to the center. But I don't know if it counts where I am, where the center of the plane oh. is, or where the tip touched the water. Seven, bon seven meters from the center? Isn't the circle five meters? <laughs> Wonderful, it looked like a bird soaring through the heavens. This will push my research forward by leaps and bounds. Mimo, give the young man his rewards and make it big. Ah. There really was a beautiful flight. You control the wings like they were an extension of your body. Here's your reward. Okay, so maybe it's 10 the size of the circle. Ah. No, I can still use more data. Another experiment won't hurt. How about it? One thing is cut again? No, no, I'm good. Oh. Uh, so I had your taste of flight and now you're done. Fine. Well, I'll be here tirelessly working on my research. Come back if and when you're ready to make scientific history. I think I just did. Uh, uh, Alright. I think everything I had to do on this new save file was done. Next time I play, I'll fight the King Leoc up there. Because I wouldn't be able to fight it now. And I wouldn't be able to go all the way up there with my battery. Since that was one of the last things I did, uh, I still have an autosave there on the previous save.